guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if it's your first time here thank you so much for stopping by starting this vlog in the elevator because guys we're finally going to see primark primark recently opened in vratov and i'm eager to go see i've only heard primark from the uk girlies so yeah let's go see what they have maybe i'll buy something maybe i won't <laughs> Sorry that I sound like this guys, it's super early in the morning and to be quite honest, I actually don't remember the last time I woke up this early. I think I woke up at 6, no like my first alarm went off at 6.30, I put 6.30 then 7 so I was up at half 6 and no man, you all know I've been in my um, chilled girl era so waking up this early is like me but anyway I start work early anyway today. Cause usually i start at noon but today i have to go at half eight so i have to quickly rush i just wanted to show you guys the cute little things that i picked up yesterday so my review of primark guys primark is very big don't blame us guys we are new to the primark world i know that primark has been there in many other countries but um it was my first time being in primark after seeing it <clears throat> all over social media you know i mean when you watch the uk girl it's like i got this in primark i got this in primark dress from primark shoes from primark pajamas from primark I will say we are so lucky like primark is about to become our forever 21 um we used to have forever 21 in Wrocław, and then it just closed down what i mean by that is sizes yo if you watch the past couple of vlogs i was complaining that the sizes in stores are just in sensei i officially don't have a size when it comes to jeans or oh, i'm like the last size like i'm big but in primark because the sizes are uk sizes so that the sizes that are the same as the ones back home in botswana i literally feel like i'm shopping in like legit or mr price yeah i don't know if that makes sense anyway of course i had to pass through my sensei but i didn't even buy anything major i just got two vests um a black vest and a white vest these will be perfect just to put inside i got these super cute um sleepers for winter they are so comfy also guys i felt like the shop was quite full but my friend who my friend lives right across the mall and she's like girl it's not full the last time i came here it was packed so i guess the excitement is dying down slowly and i'll go properly like to look properly aisle by aisle and shop and then i got these leggings see guys in primark i'm a medium in sensei i'm an xxl <laughs> crazy stuff yeah that's pretty much all i got and then i got these super cute stick on nails 
that I'm gonna put on and yeah that's it guys like <laughs> that's it and yeah like I said I'll take time to go back again properly and yes guys I haven't had breakfast but I'm chewing gum I don't even have time for breakfast anyway so I have to get going I'll catch up with you guys uh probably later yeah later later my later but the only advantage of me starting work early is that i come back home early so i'm gonna come back take a nap eat a proper meal and then guys i just received an email that one of my packages have arrived so let's collect my package and then go home yes please yep Yo, can't wait to braid my hair, guys. Like, cannot wait. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, back home already. Time flies. I passed through Lidl because I got this. This is what I'm having for lunch, guys. It's like half past 12 now. That's what I'm having for lunch. A package. It's not for me, guys. It's a birthday present. <laughs> it's a birthday present, guys. I've been invited to a kiddies party. Can you tell my excitement, guys? I love everything that has to do with kids, babies, everything, okay? Invite me. Baby showers, baby showers, uh, birthday parties for kids. I just love shopping for kids, guys. I just love shopping for kids. And also, guys, customer service in Poland, 10 out of 10. Like, yeah, of course, here and there, I have a negative encounter, like rude people. But customer service is one thing I'll never, ever complain about in Poland. They are so good with customers. So basically, this package actually arrived last week and then i don't know what happened like because basically when you get a package you receive an email telling giving you a barcode and then you go scan it you take the package but i had ordered two things at once i think last week i also ordered jeans yeah i ordered jeans also so i had two barcodes meaning i only scanned one forgetting about the other one and then you're given like three days to collect the thing if not it goes back to the store so i went back to the store and then i just t sent an email like hi i really want this thing da -da -da -da, but it will be sent back literally guys two minutes later i kid you not okay maybe like five minutes later i receive an email saying hi uh yeah we received the package back in the warehouse we are sending it back right now and this was like on thursday and today is tuesday and it's here it actually arrived yesterday i just went to collect it today so that's if that's not good customer service then i don't know what is here i am uh -huh. i think you cut it so also guys i'm braiding my hair tomorrow oh, finally i've been saying like it's one thing about me i keep procrastinating but i'm definitely braiding my hair tomorrow like i don't have a choice i'm gonna have a busy weekend like super busy weekend ahead we're literally going to another city guys of course i'm taking you guys along with me so yeah i didn't have to braid my hair tomorrow Braid my hair tomorrow. Mm. Anyway, guys, yeah. Uh, it's perfect. Okay, I just want to check if everything is inside. Yeah, okay, perfect. So it's basically a cow <laughs> and it comes with a, a pump. A pump, yeah, a cow and an air pump. Yeah. Oh, hi guys happy happy thursday happy thursday my beautiful people happy thursday i'm actually in a good mood because it's sunny today why am i saying this because it was cloudy yesterday and the day before yesterday but actually i'm not mad that it's cloudy i feel like summer 2023 has been good i'm content i'm actually ready for it to end you know Yes, the cold is not nice. Um, winter is, it's weird. Like I enjoy, um, I enjoy the things that come with winter, like the Christmas markets, but I don't enjoy the actual cold. So yeah, anyway, seasons, right? That's the beauty of seasons and time changing. Anyway, <laughs> guys, I have a little guest and she's watching me vlogging. <laughs> Go and wait for me on the chair. I'm coming, okay? One minute. Today is a hair appointment day. Yo, today is a hair braiding day. 
today is a hair braiding day so i was supposed to do my own hair today but my little client you guys have seen her multiple times on the channel she's not a new face but i blur her face out because she's still a baby i mean she's seven she's six or seven she's six or seven but i just blur her face out because i never really get permission from her parents to film so so but y'all know i feel like y'all know who i'm talking about my one little client our fave so yeah she's um so i told her mom to just bring her in the morning and then my friend tender guy's also on her way because she wanted me to do her hair <laughs> and then i also need to get my hair done so it's like three heads in one day but yes i'm gonna manage but i also need to go to the market square i don't know how this is gonna work out because i don't have braiding hair so i don't know to be honest i don't know how it's gonna work out but it just has to work out somehow because tomorrow is another busy day saturday is yet another busy day sunday i'm not even gonna be in the city that's how busy the upcoming days are like yo but anyway let's go start doing my little client's hair and then we'll start my girl's hair when she gets here and then i'll continue with my little client's hair then hopefully i'll get time to go to the market square get braiding here because there's an african shop in the market square and then come back home and start braiding mine at night hopefully i'll be done by tomorrow at noon yeah high five me <laughs> guys i literally just did one braid and my second client arrived so i had to give baby girl a break and i started doing my client's hair my girl's hair actually <laughs> but yeah my girl was my client today so i started by blow drying her hair she wanted a sleek bun and it turned out so beautiful you guys are gonna see <laughs> girl's hair appointment a couple of minutes ago like 30 minutes ago and i'm supposed to go and buy braiding hair so i can braid myself <sighs> i don't know if i want to go i don't know if i want to go but the thing is i have to go to the mall anyway i have to go to the mall anyway um yo yo guys Also, being a last minute person doesn't help. Being a last minute person doesn't help. How many things I have to do? Um, <laughs> Actually, I'm a, a, a very big joke. I'm a joke. I also need to get a gift wrapping bank for the kiddies party I told you guys about. I have to wrap the gift. I don't have a gift wrapping bag. Or a birthday card 
you know what no 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 we're not gonna be lazy not today i'm gonna quickly get ready guys we are going i'm going to quickly get ready we are going we're stepping out we're going to get the braiding hair we're going to the mall we're going to get everything we need and then we are coming back home and i'm going to braid this hair through the night okay actually let's go now just got back home a few minutes ago i managed to get the braiding hair from the african store i'm so glad that i did and the lady she gave me a free plantain she gave me a free plantain i don't even know what to do with it i've never cooked plantain in my life but she was kind enough to do that she was just like should i give you and i was like yeah okay thank you <laughs> so yeah uh, I'm so glad that the shop opens till 7 p.m. So basically, here's what happened, right? So I left home. I went to Arcadi Capital, to the mall. <sighs> Guys, if you ever hear me say the words Sensei and Primark again, please just come and drag me. Just drag me by this pondo. Drag me by the pondo, eh? Flip me upside down like, wah, wah, wah. And then just hit me into a brick wall or something. Because how... How did I end up? All I wanted was braids. But you know what? It's fine. All the things that I bought are things that I actually need. Like, that's what consoles me. One thing about me, guys, I don't just splurge for the sake of it. Like, once in a while, maybe I'll actually spoil myself. But the things that I bought are all things that I actually need. And things that I will actually need for um, the winter and for fall i'm not even gonna do a haul for you guys but you'll just see these outfits as i incorporate them in outfits for now let's focus on braiding my hair because i'm still i still plan to braid my hair i told my man and he thinks i'm crazy but i'm gonna braid my hair tonight yes guys one hour later and this is my progress my hair at the back is so short Literally, look guys, it's even sticking out of the braids. <sighs> I don't know what or who I think I am, but yeah. Anyway, yes, they look thin, but I know I'll finish because I don't finish till the end. It's pick and drop hairstyle. If you know me or if you've been watching this channel long enough, then you know this is like my go-to hairstyle because first i wanted to do like normal braids and then curl them at the end but i'm looking at the time like i need to be practical this honestly is not practical too nothing is practical at this point at this point i'm just being delulu delusional <laughs> i can't afford to fall asleep no 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 Because he's so beautiful, you're man. Gorgeous. Oh, you're gorgeous. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, make some noise for Lundy London. <laughs>
So considering the size of these braids, we are moving. We are moving. Uh, we'll definitely be done by tomorrow. I mean, it's already tomorrow. We'll definitely be done. I don't want to tell myself how many um how many hours it will take because if you're a hair braider, you know, if you say, oh, well, it's just going to be two hours, then it will be 29 million hours. So I'm just um, going at my own pace. I'm now watching YouTube videos. I started watching what men want and i don't know <laughs> literally after the first scene i was just like ah boring actually let me watch youtube videos i watched a full episode of podcast and chill which was like one hour 43 minutes how long was that episode yeah like one hour 43 minutes so yeah it's keeping me going now i'm watching um some of my favorite youtubers who have dropped videos right now or who dropped videos during the course of the week but i was too busy to watch or i just didn't watch them excuse me so yeah that's what's up that's literally what i'm doing and yeah i'm definitely gonna drop this vlog today so when i finish braiding yeah i'm probably just gonna sleep for like maybe three hours then i'll wake up and then i will edit this vlog and i will upload it yes because i want to drop a vlog on a friday for a change i always drop on mondays well at least i try to always drop on mondays um there's a time when i used to do monday thursday and i was consistent for like a month or two we just drop monday thursday monday thursday monday thursday but that stopped happening that stopped happening so now i just drop mondays mostly so this time i'm gonna try to drop this one on a friday i'm sure you those who are consistent with watching videos here are gonna be like vlog on a friday on a friday girl anyway yeah oh can't believe it's the last day of august you guys this year is flying but i'm someone who doesn't mind when time oh let me braid and talk at the same time let me not just talk 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 i'm someone who doesn't mind time moving and even as a little shock, like for example even like growing old and birthdays and stuff you know how most people hate their birthdays like oh i'm getting older i love my birthday like i love growing older i love the concept of growth i think i've, I've Im accepted and embraced the concept of growth i love growth um it can be uncomfortable sometimes growth is very uncomfortable sometimes and <sighs> i don't know i don't want to say i'm like the most spiritual person ever but for me my growth always comes with certain changes you know it's changes in every aspect okay not every aspect of my life but every time i grow this there's always a change in certain aspects of my life so that's why the concept of growth makes me so excited the concept of time moving makes me so excited like new seasons new months like i don't know how to explain it but i hope someone can actually relate like just the concept of something new beginning like a new month right now i was just checking like on the screen it just said when it was midnight the screen just said uh friday 1 september to me that's just like like what it's already the first of september <laughs> yeah you know time is moving before you know it it's october next thing it's happy new year 2024 like such things excite me so much so yes i'm pretty hyped up when time flies 
because I'm just like, ah, what does the next chapter have for me? You know, what does the next chapter have for me? What does the next chapter look like? You know, yeah, you guys get it. The girls that get it, get it. Oh, hi guys. So it is 2 a.m. and this is my oh progress. Not much progress, to be honest. <sighs> I'm starting to see that, yeah. Maybe I was a bit too ambitious, but like I said earlier on, you guys, if I don't do my hair today, then the next chance to do it would be next week. And I've got some important stuff to attend this weekend, and I didn't want to wear a wig. I did not want to wear a wig and the girl who does my hair fun fact um the girl who came earlier the one the, my client who i was doing the sleek bun that's actually my hair braider like that's the person who does my hair and we are attending the same thing this weekend so if she's busy <laughs> and i'm busy <laughs> then we are both busy what time will she get to do my hair so I feel like she's the only one who I actually trust with my hair. So it's either her or I do it myself. And that is why I'm here doing it myself. A DIY queen. So yeah, guys, it's 2 a.m. right now. Just watching podcast on YouTube. I'm just watching random stuff at this point. I'm probably going to take a break to pray and read the Bible. My friend Flores and I have been reading the book of Romans. So basically what we do every day is we read a chapter and then at the end of the day, we um, video call each other and talk to each other about what we learned in that chapter. And I didn't do that today. She was also like, listen, babes, I'm tired. But I'm like, yeah. So basically when she's tired, then I will do a summary. When I'm tired, then she will do a summary and then send me like, summaries of everything and then i catch up the next day <sighs> you're going you guys i'm fighting to stay awake but i have to i have to stay awake i have to so yeah i'll probably take a break at 2 30 to do that and then i'll send flow she's probably sleeping by now but I'll just send her, I'll read and try to understand the chapter. Also, guys, y'all never ever talk about how difficult the Bible is to understand. Like, yeah, growing up, of course, we'd recite Bible verses. Like, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. Like, you recite verses, right? But now that I'm older, I feel like only now is when I'm actually reading the Bible to understand. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes, me at 23 years old. This is when I'm only starting to read to understand. Back then, you just read because that's the verse of the day, you know? Like, uh, let's say, for example, you're just asked to read at church growing up. Yeah. Now is only when I'm trying to reach to understand. And I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. And this is why I find it important to have a community. I'm so, like, I'm so blessed. And I thank God every single day for the community that i have the friends that i have you know that verse that says um as iron sharpens iron so does a person sharpen another i feel like uh, this chapter of my life has shown me baby girl guys we are at the age where you don't just let people in your life for nothing you know how people say it's not even that deep it is that deep like people who have access to you like, what value are you adding in their life? And what value are they adding in your life? You know, we are past that age. That um, age where it's just like, oh, everyone who's nice to you, suddenly, oh, that's my friend, that's my friend, that's my friend. Now, oof, you need to be mindful and, you know, know who's in your space. What are they all about? I mean, you can never really know a human being, right? You can never really know what someone is all about. But... Always follow your intuition. I believe in my intuition so much. Like, if I'm around you and I feel uneasy, I believe that's my intuition telling me something. And every time I don't listen to my intuition, 
something happens not really happens to me but a situation happens that makes me realize i should have listened to my intuition and i know it's so hard to listen to your intuition sometimes because you could be around people who you genuinely love or someone who you genuinely love but your intuition tells you baby baby it's time to leave if you fight to stay you'll suffer the consequences which is my biggest problem like god will show me dude this person is not for you but me i fight to stay and god always shows me i told you so so yeah guys as iron sharp as iron <sighs> let me not bore you guys <laughs> let me not bore you guys with my speech but yeah that's just my random 2 a.m thoughts oh my gosh this is so candid this is so candid i have these random 2 a.m thoughts that i only share with myself <laughs> oh my man <laughs> man something about the middle of the night has you thinking about deep serious things or am i just the only one like also i get this random urge to get my life together at night like in the middle of the night and i wake up in the morning and i'm like but anyway guys yeah that's what i'm gonna do so let me try to push until half past two and i'll come back here at 3 30 okay now it's now is 206 i'll be back at 3 30 okay guys i know i said i'll be back at 3 30 but i was watching something and realized it was 4 a.m at this point i didn't even have the energy to speak to you guys hence the voiceover but i was definitely questioning all my life decisions <laughs> my body so much like i push myself to the limit like why am i doing this to myself but anyway it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day because for at least two months i don't have to worry about brushing hair combing hair styling hair gel glue and all of that stuff but the time is seven <laughs> and I have to be ready to go somewhere by half past 12 there's just a lot going on and if I take a nap now I obviously won't be able to be ready by 12 so my plan is to stay awake and just allow myself to crash when, when I crash I crash like when it happens it happens Yeah, I have to finish. It's literally quarter to eight in the morning and I'm done. Finally. I don't know whether to cry tears of joy or tears of exhaustion, but yeah, this is the hairstyle. It's not as full as I wanted it to be. I don't know if you guys remember the last time I did this hairstyle, it was so full. I'll put a picture here or a little clip, a video, because I remember I vlogged it. And it took this long, the same. But it was more full because obviously I had more time and I wasn't really rushing. But this time I just had to space them out. But I'm still happy with how they look. Because I don't know whether to sleep. Take a nap. That's it. That's my hairstyle. Thank you so much guys for watching this vlog. Actually, I can't sleep before I edit this vlog. So I'm just going to lay in bed, edit. If I fall asleep while I edit, it's okay. And then I'll wake up in like two hours, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I'll wake up in three hours. So I'll edit for 30 minutes, schedule the upload, nap for two hours, wake up at 11, get ready, 
you go where I need to go. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit the red subscribe button. And don't skip the ads, please. <laughs> thank you guys. Bye.